my stoma has made me realise how lucky I am to have a body that works. Hi, I'm Adele Roberts. I'm a Radio 1 DJ. I'm currently undergoing treatment for stage two bowel cancer, and I am absolutely thrilled to be Women's Health UK June cover star. This is my story. So I was diagnosed with stage two bowel cancer in October last year. I feel like my life has just been almost like I've been in the upside down on Stranger Things. <laughs> it's, it's been a weird journey, but it's been one that's been really rewarding more than I realized. When I first went to see my GP, when I had troubles with my digestion, and also when I was going to the toilet, I'd have mucus and blood started to appear. We didn't think it was cancer. Uh, my doctor first thought it might be something like piles or hemorrhoids, but she was brilliant and she said, you know what, I'm gonna send you for some tests just in case. You're probably too young to have something like cancer or bowel cancer, but we're gonna send you anyway. A lot of the symptoms to do with bowel cancer, especially in women, can be confused for other things that we go through. So I had a lot of bloating, a lot of cramping, a uh, sore tummy, and so I didn't realize it could be cancer at first. Luckily, I got tested um, ended up going into hospital for a couple of scans and then um, they brought me in one day and I didn't realise that they were going to say to me, you've got cancer. And luckily I had my partner there with me in the room and I just tried to comprehend this word cancer. I just thought, can't, surely not, surely. I'm too young because I've been told I was too young. I had to wait a week to see whether the cancer was treatable, if it had spread, if it was anywhere else in my body, and it was probably the most terrifying week of my life. I think the toughest day, sorry, I don't want to cry, um, the toughest moment for me in terms of cancer was telling my mum that I was ill. Um, I think that was the thing that I didn't want to do the most. My mum's not very well herself at the moment and um, just having to tell her that her, her child was not very well as well broke my heart. She was strong as she always is and uh, was like, you, you're going to get through this. And I knew at that point that I wouldn't let her down and that I'd try my best to get through it. I was diagnosed in October with bowel cancer, October 2021. And then by the end of that month, I'd had a low anterior resection, which is a part of my colon removed to take out the cancer tumor. And then while that's healing, I've gained a new friend who I call Audrey, and she's an ileostomy. So she's my little stoma. She lives in a little bag. She's very naughty quite a lot of the time. She keeps me on my toes, but I absolutely love her. And she's actually saving my life. So I'm very grateful that the doctors could put her in for me. After getting Audrey, I then in December of 2021 started chemotherapy, which I didn't realize I could take orally. So I have tablets now um, every two weeks and then I have a week off and uh, my drug is called Cape Cytobine and I take those tablets and I'm able to do that at home. Don't have to go into hospital and have an IV. The way I'm getting through my journey at the moment is without a doubt my partner. She's everything, she's my strength. She's there for me every single morning, every single night. When my stoma decides to go crazy, she's there for me as well. I found a lot of people online. What one great thing about cancer, if there is a great thing, is that it's helped me find people that are going through it like me. Cancer's brought so many good people into my life, whether that's people in the NHS or people on social media. I feel like my faith in humanity has been restored a hundredfold. One thing that's been an absolute lifeline is being able to keep my routine and to be able to go into Radio 1 and DJ. Music is my first love and 
Uh, there's so many songs that I hear on the radio now and those words just hit differently. I managed to keep running at the moment, which I'm really grateful for. And uh, one of the songs that's on my playlist is Not Giving In by Rudimental. And I absolutely live and breathe every single word of that song. I think it's really important for me to be as visible as possible going through this journey just because when I first found out that I had cancer, I went straight onto the internet and was reading stories of people that have actually lived through it. And I didn't realize you could do so much whilst being treated for cancer. I didn't know I'd be able to still go into Radio 1 on chemotherapy. I didn't know I'd be able to work out. And I just think it's really important to have as many different stories as possible out there because I could be in a situation where I was bed bound but there's people out there that are actually living through that and then there are people like me who are able to go to work and maintain pretty much a, a normal life if, if normal is a word and uh, yeah I, ju I just think the more of us that talk about it the less it will be a social taboo. I think it's such a powerful image for me to be on the front of women's health with a stoma bag because I didn't, first of all, know what a stoma bag was, but then when I found out, I didn't realise that that could be there with a word such as health. And I think that is so important and so powerful because just because I've got a stoma doesn't mean to say I'm not healthy. Again, there's a lot of taboo in terms of stomas. People don't feel like they can show that they've got them because it's kind of to do with going to the toilet, but I think the more that we talk about it, the more it will be accepted and the more people will realize that that's now my normal, that that's normal to me at the moment. Health can mean so many different things and it doesn't have to be this perfect utopia and this perfect body. I've never been so in love with my body. Uh, my stoma has made me realize how lucky I am to have a body that works. I am strong and I am healthy. Please, 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 if you're worried about anything, speak to somebody. Early detection saves lives. And the earlier you go and get seen, the sooner you can get help and the more options you have as well to help save your life. So please don't be shy, go and see your GP. They're amazing, they're very kind. They do this every day and they're not gonna judge you, they're gonna help you. To anyone who's going through cancer or a really scary health challenge, I just want you to know you're not alone and there are so many people out there that you can find that can help you get through it. Thank you so much for watching, really appreciate it. And for more support and information if you need it, please check out Bowel Cancer UK.